code. Okay, so what you would do, you would go to Google and then you just type iframe. And once you do that, you want to click on this first link that says HTML iframe tag. All right, you click on that link, boom. So all you need right there. That is the, that is going to be your iframe code. This is the code that's going to make everything happen. All right. So we're going to come back to this in a minute, and I'm going to show you what to do with it. All right. Uh, the next step is going to be creating the page that we're going to actually put the iframe on. All right. So uh, to in order to do this, we're going to have to create a custom WordPress page. Okay. Uh, for instance, I'll show you. Well, I already showed you what a custom WordPress, a regular WordPress page, is a page that comes with your WordPress theme. Okay, so for instance, I'll take a look at this site here, and I'm going to show you a regular WordPress page. I click on models here. Okay. All right, so this is the regular WordPress page. Okay, you have your regular theme, and uh, you have this little section here that you have to work with. But if you create an iframe, you can remove all of this stuff, and the only thing that's going to show on this page is going to be whatever you put in that iframe. Okay, so that's exactly what we're about to do. We're going to take a page like this and we're going to turn it into a custom page so we can do whatever we want to do to it which in this case would be create an iframe okay so let me go ahead and log into undergroundaugusta.com I hope the login information populated by itself because I do not remember it but he did give me a password and using it okay here we go alright so we hit login You have to excuse my PC is going a little slow here. It's about time for me to upgrade. <laughs> okay, now now that I've logged into undergroundaugusta.com, what I'm gonna do is, or what you would do next is, you would open up uh, the software, whatever HTML editing program that you're gonna be editing and creating your custom WordPress page in so in my in my uh, situation I'm gonna be using Dreamweaver okay uh, if you don't have access to Dreamweaver uh, Adobe Dreamweaver CS3 uh, you could use notepad uh, and there there are a variety there is a variety of different HTML editing uh, softwares out there that you can use but uh, you just have to find some you know you can google around for HTML editor or uh, simply just do some research on how to use the notepad as a HTML editor or uh, how to use Dreamweaver if you have Dreamweaver but a lot of people don't Especially if you just get into building websites, you know. But uh, I'm going to show you. I, I I create my pages in Dreamweaver, and I'm going to show you how to do the same. Okay, I'll show you how to do it in in a Notepad as well. Okay, uh, I kind of got lost here. Let me see. Okay, now what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to open up my FTP client alright so it, it, it don't worry if you uh, if you're getting kinda lost here cuz I'm gonna do a whole nother video about creating custom pages in your work for your WordPress website and I'm gonna do a whole nother video about uh, your FTP FTP things from your desktop to your website okay so this is this is the FTP uh, this is FTP software here. Uh, it's called Core FTP, and what it does is it basically transfers it transfer information from your website to your desktop, and from your desktop to your website. 
that's all it does you know and uh, I'll do a video later about how to get all this set up as well hmm Okay, I may not be able to do this because I don't think that he gave me the FTP information to this website. And if I don't have the FTP information to the website, I can't upload a custom page. Okay, so this is going to be a problem. I'm gonna pause the video for a second while I figure this thing out. Okay, finally found the information I needed. Okay, so I will not be using Core FTP. I will be using GoDaddy FTP. Okay, GoDaddy has a FTP protocol built into their website as well, and I'm gonna be using that to. Uh, to download the page from his website that I'm going to edit to put the iframe on. So let me see, do I remember how to get to this thing? Okay, you go to domain management, you find the domain you're working with, which is undergroundaugusta.com. What I'm looking for is the hosting account affiliated with this domain okay hosting click here all right uh, let's go ahead and launch that control center come on I don't have all night. Okay, let's see here. FTP file manager. Here we go. All right, that's that's what I need. I'm gonna click on FTP file manager, and uh, and like I said, the FTP uh, it's, FTP stands for file transfer protocol. If I'm not mistaken, it uh it allows you to transfer files from your desktop to your website or from your website to your desktop. Okay, so for instance, here you can upload. Okay. I just I got I have I gotta figure out how um what's going on here before I can explain anything to you guys so just bear with me take it all in just take it all in okay I don't, I don't I'm not looking for this I'm looking for the Java FTP client that's what I'm looking for <clears throat> That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Our FTP client lets you upload content to the server of your shared Linux or Windows hosting account. This client is best used for moderate amounts of data. If you are uploading large files or have none ASCII characters in directory or file names, we recommend using third party using a third party FTP client. That FTP client that I had that I first opened up was a uh, core FTP. That's a that's considered to be a third party FTP client. Okay. Looks like it's still loading up here. Taking forever in a day. Good thing YouTube extended the amount of time that I had to create video or else I'd have been to stop this thing twice. Okay, let's see. We're gonna go ahead and run. 
All right. Progress. Progress is what I like to see. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, okay, so this the local system is my computer. This is my desktop. This is my computer. Okay, the remote system is the website. Okay, so this is where we're sending files from. And this is where we're sending them to. Or in some cases, we may be sending files from the website to my desktop, which is actually what we're about to do. So the file that I'm looking for, I'm going to go into his WordPress website. I'm going to go to go to WP content. I'm going to go to themes. And I'm going to find, uh, let's see here. What theme is that he's using? Um, is it raindrops? Music life, all right. Go to the music life theme. Okay, and what I'm looking for is page. Okay, page. Every page that he create, every page that's created on the website uh, has this basic layout. That's that's this code that's on this document here. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to desktop, and I'm just gonna send that page uh, directly to my desktop. Okay. So once I do that, I'm going to open up Dreamweaver or open up your uh, notepad, wherever you're going to be editing the document at. I'm going to go to open. All right, I'm going to find the page on my desktop or find it wherever you sent the page to. In my case is the desktop. Where is it at? Okay. I'm gonna click on it and open it up in Dreamweaver. I'm gonna open it up in your HTML editor. While that's opening up there's something else that we're gonna have to do in order to make this page a custom WordPress page alright so basically you gotta you're gonna have to get the code that you're gonna need in order to make the page a custom WordPress page so uh, you go to Google and you type uh, how to make a custom WordPress page alright and I usually click on this first link here, Pages, WordPress, Codex. Okay. And I already know what I'm looking for, so I'm going to go straight to it. And like I said, I'll do a video later on about how to use the FTP server, you know, and uh, more in detail about how to use the FTP server and how to create a custom WordPress page. Okay. But, you know, just a quick overview creating your own pages. All right. Um, basically, what you have to do is take this little bit of code here, and this is the page that just opened up in Dreamweaver, or if you got it open up in Notepad or whatever HTML edit editor you're using, you take the little piece of code, you paste that little piece of code to the top, and you rename the page. So in this case, I'm gonna name it Classifieds. Okay. Now, what you wanna do? is you actually want to go back to your iframe code which you should have left open okay you want to take you want to